biggest concerns you have right now about these cuts and what the people who love the Great Lakes, what they're going to be facing in the next, you know, few months here? Well, one of the, of course, uh, challenges for us is that our current agent carp of monitoring and control and removal efforts are largely funded through GLRA dollars. So for us as an agency, that would certainly be a, an issue of concern as to um, how those cuts might impact our ability to continue that program. What can you do about this problem? What are you doing? What are people doing over this three-day period to try to make their feelings known to lawmakers, et cetera? Well, I think clearly there's been a, a fairly strong cry for the value uh, of continuing to invest through the GLRI program for the Great Lakes. Um, clearly, from our standpoint, as a, as a the state in which we're the, the leading state for the fight on Asian carp, it's very important uh, from our standpoint, from the funding, to allow us to continue. I mean, we, we have removed over 5 million pounds of Asian carp in the Illinois waterways in the last uh, five to six years. And so, uh, from our perspective, uh, our monitoring and control program has been quite successful in beginning to reduce the population of Asian carp, especially in the upper reaches of the waterway. If you, if the funding doesn't come through, you can't remove those carp anymore, is that correct? Well, I'm not going to say that. If, the, if, if funding is eventually challenged, um, you know, this is a very important program. Uh, I think there will be a lot of discussion on what other options that might be available. Uh, and wh where that might lead us, I don't know. Clearly, uh, GLRI has been of great benefit because it really illustrates that this is a regional program that offers benefits not only to, to Illinois but also to the other Great Lakes states and Canadian provinces as well.